is a Tamil person here from Chennai One Professionals, event anchor, MC trainer, MC manager, and founder of Chennai One Professionals and Chennai Event MCs, and co founder of Chennai Event Entertainers. So, today's topic for live is um, how can an event MC be very helpful in our dance show, whether it's a dance show or a cultural show. When I say dance show, it can be for a school, it can be for a college, it can be for a club, it can be for a corporate, uh, it can be for a dance school also. In our experience, myself and Nandini, we, were, we have hosted a lot of dance shows. What of the genre I have said, uh, it's a school, college, club, corporate, or even a lot of dance schools, uh, uh, shows and competition. We have hosted a lot in our experience of the last three, four years. So uh, what is the role of an MC in an event? Uh, uh, generally in an event, as I always say, the uh, purpose of the MC or the role of an MC is to take an event in a smooth flow from start to the end. That is the main purpose of an MC. And second thing, MC can engage and entertain the audience. These two are the primary purpose of an MC. Apart from this, there are a lot of other purpose like presenting, uh, passing the information, uh, interviewing, panel discussion, lot of this. But mainly when you book an MC, there are two things. One is taking the show from uh, start to end in a smooth flow. Second thing, engaging and entertaining the audience. So when you come for a dance show, a lot of the schools or college, they, uh, they would usually have their own school children or the teachers would be taking care of the shows. But some of the schools and the colleges or the dance schools, uh, they hire an external MC because they are more professional in their experience. They know what to do and what works out, what doesn't work out. Because uh, in our experience, we always uh, suggest our clients. First, I get the uh, a script, I mean the agenda from the client. Whenever someone calls us for an event, whether especially a dance event, I ask them how long the event goes and uh, total number of performance. This is very important because you need to plan a lot of um, events, especially the dance show when I've seen what we have seen is they plan for two hours, but the show goes for three or four hours. They will have a very rough or, rough or vague idea about the show. They'll say we have around 20, 20 performance, but uh, show will get over in one and a half hours, two hours. We always calculate in minutes. Like when we say uh, a dance uh, takes three to five minutes. So ideally we take five minutes for a dance, which means in an hour you can do 12 dance or you can give a 12 dance performances. And in case you have uh, any other thing like uh, chip guest speech or the lamp lighting, formal ceremony, price distribution, then uh, this dance time alone comes to two hours for around 24 dance, 20 to 25 dance. Apart from that, uh, you have a lot of the ceremonies as well. So we suggest our clients, uh, we sit with the client in the agenda preparation. We ask them what are the performances and how long they are going to give uh, each team uh, the duration for each performance and then we prepare the next agenda for the client so an experienced MC or an experienced event manager would be able to help you with the agenda so the topic of the topic for this live is how an event MC can help uh, to host a dance show first thing an experienced MC can help you preparing a proper agenda so that uh, you don't run short of time or uh, you don't exceed the time uh, uh, during an event at any event once you plan it may go plus or minus half an hour but it should not go beyond that. For example, if you plan an event for two hours or three hours, it can either go for two and a half or three and a half hours, not sometimes it goes for four hours, five hours without, beyond your control. So you should have a proper planning in the initial stage. And now coming to the actual day of the event, what does what an event MC do in a dance show? First thing, main primary function of an MC, primary purpose of an MC is to introduce the dancers and get applause for the dancers once the performance is over. These two are the main thing. First is introducing the dancers. Second, once the performance is over, they're going to thank the dancers and they're going to get an applause from the audience to the dancers and they're going to invite the next performer. This is what everyone thinks. But beyond this, what are the thing an event MC can do? As I said, from initial to end, they have to take care. So I divide an event, to, event into three parts when an MC is involved. First thing, starting the event. Second, taking care of the event uh, in the middle portion of the event. Third one, concluding the event in a good way. So these three are the main things uh, whenever I train MCs or whenever I suggest MCs to an event, I tell them always split the event into three different things, start, middle and end. So always you should have a good start and the, at the same time you should have a very good ending so that people remember the day and you should have a very good event flow in the, in the middle or in between. So these three are the important thing you should uh, make a note of it. And now coming to each and every sequence. Uh, as I said, uh, MC is going to just introduce the dancers. So normally, a normal MC, what they are going to do, they are going to just um, say what's the song or the what's the dance they are going to perform, and they are going to call the dancers on stage. But a good MC or an experienced MC, passionate MC, what they do is they prepare some more script out of the song or the dance. For example, if you say a song which may be a Raja song or which may be a, a Rahman song or which may be the latest one, so we try to collect as much information as possible. We try to collect the information like. Uh, 
who is the music director and uh, what was the period in which the song came in what are the special things special details about the song so excuse me so when you give additional piece of information about every song or at least for few of the songs and uh, definitely audience would be more entertained to know more about that uh, to know to know more details about those song so this is one good thing an mc uh, does in a dance show and second thing uh, mc is going to engage the audience and entertain them uh, if you don't have an mc most of the if, if you have an in-house mc or like if you are going to have your teacher or a student i'm not blaming them because because it's not their cup of tea they are doing it as an additional thing so usually they don't they don't engage with the audience they just uh, introduce the dancers and wind up the session but a professional MC, they try to engage with the audience. They try to bring in a lot of mood, peppy mood among the audience, so that even goes to the next higher level. So when in the wherever it's needed, uh, an experienced MC or a good MC, they try to engage with the audience. They try to check the pulse of the audience. Um, they bring in a peppy mood. All these things uh, a good MC does, and they conduct games as well. Whenever there is a lag, or sometimes during the agenda preparation itself, we ask for uh, time for MC, like 10 or 15 minutes. So that they can get along with the crowd and conduct games. It can be a stage-based games, or it can be again dance-based games, or singing, tongue twister, or asking the crowd to um, smile, laugh, dance from that place, whatever maybe. That's up to the MC's choice, and the event organizer's choice. What sort of games they want. So MC can conduct games there. And one important thing I always say whenever you hire an MC is they can either stretch the show or they can shorten the show if it's needed. For example, uh, no one is prepared for audience are ready here. But your performance are not ready, or if there is some technical lag, you can uh, very boldly uh, you can press the MC and get them on stage so that they can fill that time. That is where MC's uh, presence is much needed. Like we, even if you're not, if your performance are not ready, if the technical team is not ready, MC can take the mic and they can start engaging the audience. I have done this in a lot of my events. Like uh, it takes 15, 20 minutes for the performance to get ready, but audience should have come. Majority of the audience should have come. So an MC can start the event early. At the same time, if you feel that all the events are over and uh, you have some more time and uh, a session need to be dragged, for example, you would have planned for 6 to 9, but by 8 or 8.30, the entire session is over and you need some time for the uh, final prize distribution ceremony or chief guest needs to come. And again, MC can do a lot of fillers in that time. And uh, in the reverse way, the vice versa, uh, if, there is, uh, if you are running short of time and you do not MC to engage anything, you want the MC to just run the show, and MC can do that as well. So this is what always I tell my client. You need not worry about the timing when you have an MC. MC can take care of the time lag or if you want to set the event or if you want to shorten the event, MC will take care of that. So always give your agenda to the MC and MC will prepare one more agenda and they will fill it in accordingly. And these are the things I wanted to share. Let me quickly read out my notes what I prepared before this slide. So when you hire an MC for an event, especially a dance show, what are the things you can expect from an MC? They can help you in agenda preparation, the planning stage, they can help you. Uh, get an exact timing of the event, how long the event will go. Because out of our experience, we always say a dance lasts for three to five minutes, or sometimes it's a lengthy one, five to seven minutes. And we help the client prepare the agenda minute by minute. This is the first thing. Second, MC is going to take the event in a flow from start to end. So he's going, he or she is going to divide the event into three parts. First is the introduction part. Second is the entire event flow. Third one would be the concluding part to uh, give a great memory for the audience who leave from the hall. Third. MC is going to introduce every performer and is going to get applause for the performer from the audience. And a good MC or an experienced MC is going to introduce every song or at least majority of the songs with nice intro, some additional piece of information about the song or the dance. And MC is going to engage the audience and entertain them. MC is going to conduct games and MC can uh, either stretch the event or shorten the event based on your needs. So these are the way an event MC can help you in your dance show, whether it's a school dance show or it's a college dance show or it's a private club or corporate or even a dance school or even if it's a contest. So if you have a show, if you have a dance competition or a dance show, you can definitely approach us. We'll be putting you through the right team. We ourselves are the MCs, myself and Nandini. We represent the brand Chennai even professionals. You can contact us on our mobile number 900-308-7198. You can visit our websites www.chennaieventprofessionals.com and www.chennaievententertainers.com. That's it for now. Have a wonderful time. Tata. Bye bye. This is MC Damarasan signing off.